Good morning from what is it? Oh, I'm from La La. No, don't be allowed to say it, but hey boy, we're here having a breakfast. I am here and cakes. It is just next to the Chief Inn on the Cane Columbus. Um, if you want a more proper review of this result, um, this one I say not result, place to eat. I do have a vlog from June which shows you around some really good places to eat breakfast and that. So here's a quick look. But I am, I'm going to be American and go through original pancakes with Nutella, cream, hour and fruits today. And I don't know what area it is here. Look at him. Old boy with his glasses on today. <laughs> Just a quick look in sight, a very, very quick look. Very American diner, what I do enjoy very much. So our drinks are here. Yes, I've gone for a Coke. Have a go at me, but Danny's gone for a special type of tea. What type of tea is this, Danny? Berries tea. So it's a berries tea, so very nice. And looks like Danny's got a call right now. That will probably be the wifey. <laughs> and it is. Okay, we will go. Away. Goodbye. <laughs> And my pancakes are here, looking lovely with a Nutella and that, quite a few pancakes, maybe three or four. Some strawberries and berries. And look at that, oh, it is more like British bacon as well. British bacon with lovely waffles for Danny. Danny, mate, I won't stop you eating, enjoy, mate. <laughs> yeah, that looked wrong. So I've just stopped eating the breakfast. Oh, I'll give it a seven out of 10. It would have been an eight, but too much Nutella for me. For me, that's got to be an eight. An eight. Yeah. No Nutella on these. As you can see, look at that. There's so much Nutella on the plate as well. And I had a lot on the pancakes. So maybe they need to come calm down on Nutella. But definitely a great place to eat and it fills you up. So it's, and it's not a bad price, but I'll get Just walking downstairs to Columbus. We're on the second floor near the kids' club. I always wonder how many people know about this, the third pool at the resort. Right here. That later on will be on to be a water fountain coming down. But here's the third pool. I thought you might want to see it. So, if you want a third pool away from the music, get here quick enough, it's a lovely pool to have. So we're back at, is it San Borodon Cafeteria, just behind Park Santiago 3 and 4, having smoothies again. Danny's wearing his headscarf, solidarity for his love of Chelsea, good boy. Just a quick part to the vlog, if you saw yesterday, the last daily vlog thing bit, obviously the night before, massive concert, but look at this now totally clean it was an absolute mess we woke up this morning was out the hotel by 8am literally no mess left I mean fantastic by the the workers out here in the cleaning crew absolutely amazing gotta give them a round of applause for making it so clean so quickly absolutely fantastic you would not know today there was a big concert last night we have just left Los Cristianos Yolo Sports Bar and watched one of the greatest football games I've seen in years. Chelsea Man City for all. Funny going past the Fox now. I actually almost got tempted to eat in here because look, barbecue grilled. See? How good is that? Alright. But we are actually walking down to the vault now. We're gonna have a food platter. And um that's it. We just gave Michael and that, their daughter the Chucky popcorn bucket from Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Studios. She was made up for it, made my day. But as I say, I don't think I've ever brought um, Danny down to Lost Chris, so he's, he's just looking around. It's more quiet down this end. But as I say, we're going to get a bit of food now and enjoy it because I need a rest in that football. So we have come to the vault. Danny, your first thoughts of the vault, mate, while you're here. Your first thoughts of the yeah, vault. Yeah, it's nice. It looks nice, nice and lively and bright. Yeah. And it's about to grow in double in size. So we've come here for a couple of drinks after the football and the vault sharer. Four mixed burgers, sliders, four chicken tenders, four barbecue wings, nachos, fries and two corn in the vault. 28 euros. Can't mind about that. And the share platter is here. Look at this. How gorgeous does this look? Absolutely Stunning. Well, every penny in my opinion already. Beautiful presentation as well. Well, we've just here. No, we, could, we couldn't finish it. No, I'm not gonna lie. We had some left. Most of it's gone. We couldn't do the nachos. Out of 10? Out of 10? Yeah, I'll say 8. Yeah, I'll give it a 7.5 because I, I weren't feeling the nachos. 7.5 for me, 8 from Danny. It's around it's around 7.8-ish end to end. So very good. Definitely worth its money though. Definitely a good price for two people. I personally think three people could share this. I think so, yeah. Yeah. 
So I've decided tonight not to uh, go out after the football and being at the vault and that. I've walked back from Los Chris to Las Americas and now I'm just going to chill downstairs, have a few beers and relax at the Cayenne Columbus Resort. I think Danny's down here now. I know he was upstairs, but I think he's finally come down. So it's all good. Um, I hope everyone's doing good. If any questions you got about the Columbus, by all means, ask. Hi, future Phil. That is a really short one. I didn't do much that day. Um, so what I've done here, I thought I'd sit here at Can Columbus and I'd say a few things. I noticed quickly with the Can Columbus, looks like a lot of rooms are starting to get renovated, so I don't know if they're starting to change things. I think a bit of it needs a bit more modernising, if you ask me. Um, they need to put routers in every room for the Wi-Fi. If it's in one room, it, the, the, for some reason they think it works in every room. Unfortunately, it's pretty poor in the rooms that don't have the routers. It's not much more money to buy the routers, so it would be a lot easier to kit every room in the hotel. Now with routers, I know it'll take a bit of time, but I think it's thoroughly worth it. Uh, a lot of people come over here now who work. Um, home workers and especially for the winter times they will come over to places like this and there'll be times they need to work somewhere called Sky Island what in theory should be their room they're staying in might have a Skype meeting wherever it is they use Zoom anything like that I'm not sponsored by anyone <laughs> but you know things like that or they just may need to work in peace and quiet and they might want to go in their balcony or something like that with the nice weather for the day and then go out in the evening for eating and drinking and all that stuff so I think that's one thing they need to do I think they need to in the apartment rooms that's the one bedroom lounge ones i think they need a 50 inch tv in the front room area and then i think the smaller tv is what they've got i think they need to go into the bedroom especially for families that would be a very useful yeah it'd just be so useful it's unbelievable you know the kids are using the big tv or vice versa someone's got the other tv a lot of people bring their fire sticks these days put their netflix and everything on it i don't know what you're saying why do you bring that stuff with you well some people need to chill and can't always be out in the heat and things like that so i think it would be a lot easier also the older people stay here three months if they're from the uk or six months if they're from europe places i think this would be very useful for them as well so we get to the rooftop and I say it time and time again, it looks like they're doing something and you can see that on a vlog. I've done a tour and update of the hotel, so I'm not going to tell you, but I keep on reiterating, they need to make that all inclusive only on the roof up there. Maybe put a bar up there, a couple of toilets, and that should be a the sixth floor, should be all inclusive only people. So everyone can still be in different floors on the tower all inclusive, but the sixth floor only should be all inclusive and that lounge up there. I think that's an added perk for people who pay a lot more money than the others. And that would be a quite cool place for them up there. If you want to check it out, go and check out my vlogs, previous ones and the one where I've made this trip, showing you and quickly updating you of what's going on in the resort and what's new, what's come and what's gone. And as reported before for me, the Shisha Sports Bar is gone and the what's called the pub. Now I didn't know this. They weren't run by the KN Columbus, they were run by separate contracts. So it sounds like you can rent these properties off of them. Now if I could have the money and rent that, I would yet again put a sports bar where the Shisha Sports Bar is, because the TVs are still there, so that makes it easy make the bar a bit more accessible but I, I would try and work the Columbus to advertise it a hell of a lot more because I think a lot of people in this resort would use it uh, if it's advertised especially the sports fans but most of them don't know about it and it was a little bit pricey so I maybe put the prices down I know all inclusive got a discount but I feel like the prices could have made some good deals for people and then there maybe they could have bought their food in from the, the pool you know places like that I, I wouldn't have minded that and the pub yet yeah, again another one when you got a pool bar do you need a pub there so what do you put there though i would put a playstation xbox room what kids can rent to go and play in because let's face it when kids are playing they're going to do it put a little vr in there and everything and let them have a bit of fun like that i also think They've got a dartboard here, but they need a better dartboard than the best position. That is a sticky dartboard that is on the sand. You don't want to put bang dart there, so I would move it somewhere else. And you know, have little dart competitions in here properly. Um, yeah, again, where do you put it? So I get it. So there's just a few things that I would probably change about the result. So that's a few negatives, but generally I love this result. I'm always here. I've met a few people this trip, this very short trip of mine 
that have booked this was all because of my vlogs and if you're watching this thank you so much it means well to me i i know i maybe not show it all the time but i love it when people say hi to me i literally had someone earlier today as i was walking out of the lift talking to a gentleman and from the hotel staying for a long time just as i was walking past the pools and they said ah you epic phil i turned around and waved and smiled and she was happy so if you're watching this as well thank you that made my night absolutely um other people who i've met out here dana and her group um really nice to get especially dana i wish the others came up and talked to me more i'm not sure if they thought just they didn't want to talk to me it's fair enough but dana came up every day she, she looked like she ran this result <laughs> just saying maybe they should give her a job here because she was around talking to everyone it doesn't matter it was brilliant and never changed and if you were here you're watching this if i haven't some reason got your details we were going to sort out that twitch thing remember comment down below and i'll try and get a way of getting old with you and we'll sort it out you're very smart and stuff like that and i'd love to learn how to do it and finally here's a little spoiler of an area what's pretty cool for kids especially even if it's raining even at night time it's lit up you see table tennis is here we have a little children's playground there for little infants and younger children so you say you say rain look the rain ain't gonna do nothing they could come down here still and play outside instead of being stuck in a room there is an area for everyone so they can get a bit of table tennis to sand area I do warn people on every vlog about the sand area be very careful when your children's in there there's wild cats and unfortunately they do seem to poo in this I personally get rid of it but they're persistent to keeping it and it's their resort it's their choice but so if your child's ever playing it just look for the area they're playing first the rakes there maybe just have a very quick look see there's some there unfortunately but there's some in there and um have a very quick look and if the area they're in is fine it's fine but personally steer clear of that just play in the park area uh, older kids table tennis and that you can play get table tennis bats and balls but you can buy me um in the shops around the hotel as well so if you want your own ones you can there's two table tennis tables so if there's quite a few videos that there's sitting areas and all that so um thanks for watching this vlog subscribe to me on youtube it's free like these videos comment down below press that bell notification so you know when the next vlog drops and as always be epic <laughs>